Ash, it's always great to see you. I have a slight inkling. Um, I know why I'm here. I probably don't want to acknowledge it, but why am I here today? Um, yeah, I kind of wasn't quite sure how I was going to do this, but I think so many times in my life, both my professional and my personal, you've been there for me. Um, and I just couldn't think there's no right way. There's no wrong way. It's just my way. And this is perfect for me to share it with you, to talk to you about it, um, with my team, my loved ones, that I'll be retiring from tennis. And it's the first time I've actually said it out loud. And um, yeah, it's, it's hard to say, but I'm so happy and I'm so ready. And I just know at the moment in my heart for me as a person, this is right. And um, I know I've, I've done this before, um, but in a very different feeling. And I'm so grateful to everything that tennis has given me. It's given me all of my dreams plus more, but I know that the time is right now for, for me to step away and chase other dreams um, and yeah, and to, to put the rackets down. Thank you for trusting me again. Um, yeah, you're an inspiration to so many and it can't be easy, but it also must feel nice to, in a way, get it off your chest. Uh, why now, I think is probably um, gonna be the most common question. Why now? Yeah, it's um, something I've been thinking about for a long time and I've had a lot of incredible moments in my career that have been pivotal moments. And Wimbledon last year changed a lot for me as a person uh, and for me as an athlete when you work so hard your whole life for one goal. Um, and I've been able to share that with so many incredible people. Um, but to be able to, to win Wimbledon, which was my dream, my, the one true dream that I wanted in tennis, um, that really changed my perspective. And I just had, a, I just had that gut feeling after, after Wimbledon um, and had spoken to my team quite a lot about it. And there was just a little part of me that wasn't quite satisfied, wasn't quite fulfilled. And then came the challenge of, of the Australian Open. And I think that for me just feels like the most perfect way, my perfect way to to celebrate what an amazing journey my tennis career has been as a person. This is this is what I want. Um, this is I want to I want to chase after some other dreams that, that I've always wanted to do and always have that really healthy balance. But um, I'm really, really excited. I think it will be hard for a lot of people to understand because, as you said, you've a three time Grand Slam champion. You've just come off winning the AO, probably one of the most marketable athletes in the world. How difficult was it to come to this decision? There was a perspective shift in me in this second phase of my career that my happiness wasn't dependent on the results. Um, and success for me is, is knowing that I've given absolutely every, everything I can. Um, I'm fulfilled, I'm happy. And I know how much work it takes to, to bring the best out of yourself. And I, I've said it to my team, um, multiple times it's just I don't have that in me anymore I don't have the the physical drive the emotional um want and and kind of everything it takes to to challenge yourself at the very top of the level anymore and I think I just know that I'm absolutely I I, I am spent um I just know physically I, I have nothing more to give and that for me is is success I've given absolutely everything I can um to to this beautiful sport of tennis and I'm really happy with that. And for me, that, that is my success. And I, I know that people may not understand it and that's okay. I'm, I'm okay with that um, because I know that for me, um, Ash Barty, the person, has so many dreams that she wants to chase after um, that don't necessarily involve traveling the world, being away from my family, being away from my home, which is, where I've always wanted to be, it's where I've grown up and I'll, I'll never, ever, ever stop loving tennis. Um, it'll always be a massive part of my life, um, but now I think it's important that I get to enjoy um, the next phase of my life as, as Ash Barty the person, not, not Ash Barty the athlete. Well, I know I speak for 
so many people. Ash, um, I know your family are going to love having you around more. I'm going to love having you around <laughs> more with more time with you. Um, but I know I speak for so many um, people and to say thank you. Thank you for everything that you've given to our sport. Um, having known you for so long, one thing I know is that you make decisions that are right for you and they've always worked out and you've done it your way and I think that's really brave. I think that's really credible and um, so thank you for everything that you've done for our sport. Thank you for giving us you, Ash Barty. Enjoy retirement. It's <laughs> <laughs> <That's> scary. <laughs> You're amazing and it would, must have been so difficult for you to reach this decision and so difficult for you to sit here and actually speak about it. And I know you're gonna speak about it more to come, you will, but um, I'm just so proud of you and I'm so excited as well for, for what's next for you as well. Yeah, it was, it was, it was hard, but it's, it's right. And I, and I know that brought me lots of comfort knowing that this is, this is right for me, um, but I'm, I'm very excited. Should we hug it out? We should. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh.